How's it going, Jubitarians? This is Bradley Juby. And this weekend, I was at Big Cedars for Fall Retreat 2018 Recharge. That's what we called it. That was our theme. But anyway... <clears throat> here's some highlights from that particular weekend. And believe me, it was one you didn't want to miss. You had to be there. First off, I met up with Lloyd over at uh, Ware Church, and then we ran a few errands, uh, stopped for Chick-fil-A, had some spicy uh, chips. Um, he stopped at the chiropractor, and then we went and picked up uh, some Chick-fil-A and, and a chain for a chainsaw. Then we picked up uh, the Hargroves, Seth and uh, Matthew, over at Burger King, even though I had Chick-fil-A. Then we went down to Beggs, Oklahoma, to pick up uh, Princess Mary Jo, one of our kitchen ladies. Once we did that, we took the back way into uh, Okima. And then headed on I-40 to Shawnee, and then stopped at Walmart. Lloyd had to get some more stuff, and I ended up getting a Cherry Dr. Pepper. No, no, it was a Cherry Pepsi. And then we went down to the camp, and um, we got stuff set up, and I had to stay in the cabin, and not in the staff cabin like I normally do, or the A-frame. But uh, anyway, the rest of the crew got there at about 7 o'clock, and we had our bonfire. We had a Riley Frost play some uh, worship music with his guitar around the campfire, followed by a sermon from Brad Marshall. And then we had some hot dogs and some s'mores. You can't go wrong with hot dogs and s'mores, my friends. And that was just the first night, so... And then I was tired, and I went to sleep. I think they played dodgeball that night, but I was tired. That's right, I was tired. And I got about 20 minutes to do this, so... But I might get it done in a little bit less than that, or more than that. But uh, Anyway, so I slept. And then... Um, we had breakfast, of course, with some eggs and some bacon, some biscuits, and then we had our uh, quiz bowl for the Maroon Tribe versus the Yellow Tribe, and my tribe won, thanks to me. Then we had a scavenger hunt, and I think we won that, too. Um... Then, um, what else, what else, what else? Scavenger hunt. And then Christy got me a uh, chocolate shake. Christy Dorse. She got me a chocolate shake from Sonic, and I enjoyed it during the scavenger hunt. Then we had free time, and then we had lunch. And then we played some kickball, which was awesome. I scored two doubles, but I got out the second time. And I scored the first time, but then there were three outs. But they gave it to me anyway. Which is good, because I need the stats. But for some reason, my ankle started hurting. My left ankle, for some weird reason. It's not hurting now, but it was bothering me. And then what I did was I watched uh, the end of the Oklahoma State-Baylor game, in which Baylor won. Adam Pena was not happy about it. And uh, I think uh, while strumming on his guitar, Riley Frost, what's up, Riley? He did a good uh, Elvis impersonation. I had to mention that in there because uh, Riley was wanting a shout out, so I gave him one. Um, and. Uh, and then I, I felt tired, so I went back to the cabin to get some rest. 
And I ended up missing the, uh, what's it called? The Color War. Uh, they all got weird and painted and all that, but I missed it because my... Because I didn't feel like uh, walking around trying to not to get colored on me. So, and it was a big old mess. I don't feel like getting messy. I don't know why I don't like getting messy for some reason. Maybe it's just I don't have that many clothes or something like that. But, uh, anyway, uh, I ended up missing that. But we did have, uh, oh, and by the way, we had burgers for lunch. And we had chicken strips for dinner. I still had one thing of buffalo sauce from Chick-fil-A left, but I only got, like, very little chicken. They ran out of chicken before I could get seconds. I did munch on some rolls, though, but that was good. Um, and then we had our worship service and another message from Brad Marshall, which was awesome. And then... Um, then I caught the OU game and had some leftover burgers and, uh, we listened, uh, I listened on the TuneIn app for most of the game and it started off bad, but it got better and it was a back and forth kind of thing. And, uh, for more in detail on that, go to my Oklahoma Sooner football vlog, but, uh, cause I've got the vlog up, so. And then I listened to the game with the Gibsons, but during halftime I played a little game or two of Jedi Ball. It was kind of like dodgeball, but with lightsabers and Jedi Knights and all that other cool stuff. Um, uh, what did we do? What did we do? What did all we do? Um, what did we do? Okay, uh, it's coming back to me. Um, I spent the rest of the night listening to the OU game, and of course the game did go our way. I was listening to it with uh, some of the boys in the cabin. Sooners did win, 51-46. It was intense. There were some calls that didn't go our way, but there were some plays that went our way and all that stuff. Like I said, if you want to know more about that game, go to my Oklahoma Sooner football vlog. And then I spent the rest of the night listening to the post game and then went to bed. Of course, we got an extra hour of sleep due to the fall back, so... We had to do some cleanup for the next morning, but we had a service. Um, Adam and Alan, Adam Pena, sorry, brain's not working. Adam Pena and Alan Viegas did uh, our uh, our uh, worship, and then Brad sent his final message. So, and then I mopped the floor, cleaned up, and then once I was done with all my stuff, uh, I caught the end of uh, Pastor Cook's sermon, and then we went to Taco Bueno and Shawnee once we got out of the camp with Lloyd and the Hargroves, and... Um, I had Taco Bueno, of course, and I had my Mexi Dips and Chips. And then we headed back on I-40 through uh, Henrietta and Okima. Got off almost to Chicota, and then went up Highway uh, 72 toward Coweta. We kind of were zigzagging around the place, and then dropped off to Hargroves, and then... From Kuwaita, we went back to my house, and that was the end of it. Well, I got this done in less than 10 minutes, but uh, I guess I don't have to do this for a full 20, so. Now, if I was goofing in my speech, I apologize. I still have speech issues. 
Uh, I shouldn't have to mention the no quaaludes part, but I think it was a very blessed weekend. And shout out to Riley, to Adam, to Allie, to Al Chambers, to the Gibson brothers, to Dason and um, J Jaron Cook, Ricky, Lloyd Collins, who led the who led the camp. Uh, shout out to Brad Marshall, to Riley Frost, if I haven't mentioned you already. You do a good Elvis impersonation, by the way. And shout out to all the Kogop youth. Let's do this again in April or March. We'll do this. We should do this in spring. Spring Retreat 2018, 2019. Let's push for that, peeps. All right, let's push for Spring Retreat 2019. All right. Well, anyway, this is Bradley Juby saying peace out and God bless.